Ever wanted to be a millionaire? Stupid question, right? Well, these days, being a millionaire is not so much of a big deal, with all the cool kids becoming billionaires instead. But becoming a billionaire is a lot of work, and building an evil empire is kind of exhausting. So let's just settle with being a millionaire, and finding the easiest way to become one. How about capturing one of the rarest animals in the world? If you get hold of certain creatures, there are people who will pay incredible prices to buy it from you. Or maybe just to even take a look at it. From the eel that lives 6,000 feet below the surface, to the vulture with a famous butt, here's 15 animals that have rarely ever been seen. Number 15. Gulper Eel The Gulper Eel is also known as the Pelican Eel, and both of these names ought to tell you something about the way this eel looks. They have an enormous mouth, which looks like a pelican's beak, and this can help them to swallow prey much larger than themselves. The jaw makes up around a quarter of the length of this eel alone, which is seriously one big jaw. This eel looks almost nothing like other eels, lacking the usual fins. It has a whip-like tail which it uses to propel itself through the water. But beyond some basic physical characteristics, it's fair to say we don't know a whole lot about the pelican eel. Even though it lives in all the world's oceans, it does so at a depth of almost 10,000 feet in some cases. The only time we manage to see one is when we accidentally catch them while dredging the deep for anything we can find down there as part of commercial fishing. Even then, sightings are rare. And in fact, the fish ever direct sighting of a gulper was only in 2018, near the island of Azores. So if you catch one, it might be worth its weight in gold. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. White Rumped Vulture up until the 1980s, the white-rumped vulture was considered to be the most abundant large bird of prey in the world. But in 2000, the bird was listed by the IUCN Red List, the global inventory of threatened species, as critically endangered. What was once a population of several million is now believed to be less than 10,000 individuals. What caused this massive destruction? Well, we did. The white-rumped vulture is native to Asia. It was common through India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, and Nepal. Like most vultures, it is a scavenger, and will feed on the rotting carcasses of other animals. Kind of like that friend that will eat food that you dropped on the floor, managing to get it in their mouth before they've even finished shouting, you gonna eat that? And if that food happened to be a cow that's been dead for a week and left out in the sun, kind of like that. Anyway, the human practice of filling cows with anti-inflammatory drugs for farming reasons has caused this devastation, since the drugs in question are highly toxic and destroy the vultures who eat the cow meat. They also give these drugs to people, so yeah, you might want to take it easy on those, unless you want to wind up like the poor white rumped vulture. Number 13. Giant Otter Who doesn't love an otter? It's basically a big wet puppy. But in fact, they are not related to dogs and are a kind of mustelid, which is the weasel family. And they are the biggest of the whole family, reaching lengths of 5'6". They live in north-central South America, being found in the Pantanal, which is the world's largest wetland area, and in the Amazon River. 
except they are not being found very often, because this species is seriously endangered. Back in the 1950s and 60s, its pelt, which has a velvety texture, became very popular, and so excessive hunting and poaching caused a massive decline in numbers. Just as it seemed that the fashion for rare animal fur had become kind of a socially unacceptable thing, governments in the region figured out it was super cheap and easy to dump highly toxic heavy metals, such as mercury, into the Amazon and the wetlands, causing widespread devastation and slow, painful deaths for many animals, especially the giant otters. These otters, unlike other weasels, are highly social. They are also amazing hunters, eating mainly fish but also able to hunt anacondas and caiman. Number 12. Black-Footed Ferret the black-footed ferret is also known as the American polecat and the prairie dog hunter. It is native to central North America, and fossil records show it has been present in the region for almost a million years. They were once popular all across the Midwest, but by the end of the 1970s, it was declared extinct in the wild. Its main prey, the prairie dog, also suffered massive population decline, which only made things worse for the ferrets, and then they fell victim to a form of plague. However, a few of the ferrets had been taken from the wild and bred in captivity, and a captive breeding program led to small reintroductions in eight U.S. states, Canada, and Mexico between 1991 and 2009. It is believed that careful management and protection has led to more than 1,000 individuals now living in the wild. But that's not the end of the struggle. Ranchers and the U.S. Forest Service have fought back and are hoping to make both the ferrets and prairie dogs extinct, and so have been poisoning those put back into the wild. Also, as with all captive breeding programs, reproductive problems can occur from inbreeding, and fertility rates are low. This little ferret is fighting for survival, and there are at least a few human beings out there willing to support them. Number 11. Pangolin the pangolin is one of nature's cutest and strangest animals. They've been in the news lately as one of the main suspects that we've tried to pin the blame for the coronavirus on. They are the only animal in the world to be covered from head to toe in keratin scales. There are eight species of pangolin, four in Africa and four in Asia. They tend to live in tropical forests, savanna, and dry woodlands. They are nocturnal and expert termite hunters with great senses of smell and hearing. A single pangolin can eat up to 70 million termites in one year. They also have an amazing defense mechanism, rolling up into a hard scaly ball that even lions cannot bite through. Humans, however, can just pick them up in this state, and that is often what happens, especially in China where pangolin scales are used in all kinds of wacky medicine. And even the Chinese government recommends their use in medicine. All of which means that with 2 billion Chinese wanting to eat them for healthy blood, the pangolins stand no chance of survival, and are already highly endangered. Thankfully, the more sensible country of Taiwan has a long-standing pangolin protection and preservation program, which has led to the highest population density of pangolin in the world. Good work, Taiwan. Number 10. Sayola the Sayola is an incredible species of animal, being one of the most recently discovered large mammals. This creature, also known as the Asian unicorn due to its incredible rarity, was first photographed only in 1999. <laughs> This species was not even known to science before 1992 when remains were first discovered of an animal that could not be identified as anything then known to science. The Sayola lives in Vietnam and Laos, and is related to cattle, goats, and antelope. 
It has long pointed horns, which almost touch at the ends, adding further to the reputation of the Sayola as a form of unicorn. In fact, some people still do not believe this animal really exists. In reality, it does exist, but is considered critically endangered. Not long after it was discovered, poachers set out to kill as many as possible of these animals, hoping to make money from their skins. Also, habitat destruction in the region is rife, as the governments of both countries are keen to remove forest and replace it with nice, shiny industrial zones and mining. Just fantastic. The Sayola might have disappeared before we even knew it was there. But at least we got to see it a few times and learn a little about this mysterious unicorn. Number 9. Sumatran Rhinoceros the Sumatran rhinoceros is the smallest and the hairiest rhino species. These cute little tanks are less than half the size of their African cousins and are also kind of fluffy. Well, kind of is the key word there. They still weigh in at up to 2,200 pounds, so if you thought you might be able to pick one up and pet it, think again. But before you could do that, you would have to find one and that is no easy task. They used to be everywhere, inhabiting rainforests, swamps, and cloud forest in India, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Laos, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, and China. But now there are only tiny remaining populations in Borneo and Sumatra. These solitary animals are believed to number less than 30 in the wild. The main reason for their population decline is humans illegally poaching them, and black market prices of $30,000 per kilo for its horn are putting it under serious threat. Once again, the horn is used in some bizarre and totally ineffectual Chinese medicine believed to counteract leprosy, diarrhea, and tuberculosis, all of which are easily avoidable and treatable with conventional medicine. Unfortunately, this rhino does very poorly in captivity, so once the last 30 are gone, then that's it. Goodbye forever. Number 8. Peruvian Spider Monkey the Peruvian spider monkey is also known as the black-faced black spider monkey. Just in case you were wondering what color it is, it's black. They live in Peru, of course, but also in Brazil and Bolivia. It's a pretty large monkey, measuring around two feet in length. Although as recently as 2003, this species was considered of least concern. The huge increase in deforestation that the 21st century has brought to South America has seen this species lose more than 50% of its numbers. Pollution, illegal mining and poaching, as well as habitat loss, have pushed these monkeys to the edge of extinction. with predictions suggesting they will likely be gone by 2050. Reintroductions in protected reserves have begun, but only on a small scale so far. These monkeys are especially known for their incredible agility, comparable only to the Asian gibbon. Like other spider monkeys, they do not have a thumb, even though most other monkey species do. They can live up to 20 years when they are left in peace from the actions of human beings. Number 7. Seneca White Deer The Seneca White Deer are a ghostly presence on the former Seneca Army Depot in Seneca County, New York. In 1941, this 10,000-acre depot was created, and the perimeter fence surrounded a small herd of white deer. These are not albino deer, but they have the recessive genes for white fur. Isolation from the outside world has led to inbreeding, and so they do not reproduce as successfully as they would otherwise. However, the commander of the depot in the 1950s outlawed the shooting of these deer, and so in this protected environment, their numbers have in fact increased to around 700. Even though there are so few of them, it is still the largest herd of white deer in the world, with about half of the herd having the all-white coats. The depot closed, however, and the deer lost their military-grade protection. Since then, they have become threatened by hunters and predators like coyotes. Plans were made for amusement parks and industrial units, as well as a prison to be built on the land. But fortunately, a local business 
businessman purchased a plot and turned it into a reserve for these rare and beautiful creatures. Here's to you, Earl Martin of Seneca Ironworks. Thanks for saving these deer. Number 6. Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat the Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat, that's really its name and it's maybe a little cuter than it sounds, it is one of the three species of wombat and also one of the rarest animals in the world. This critically endangered critter once roamed far and wide across the Australian states of Victoria, New South Wales, and Queensland. But these days, they live in a tiny habitat in Epping Forest, the range of which is about one square mile. The total population is barely 100, with only 30 breeding females left. Wombats are powerfully built creatures with large heads and short, powerful legs. They also like to dig burrows, and so have strong claws. They are covered in soft gray fur, and as the name will tell you, this species even has a furry nose. They can reach 3 feet in length, and the females can be quite a bit larger than the males. Their eyesight is poor, but they have amazing smell and can sniff their way through the dark, being nocturnal animals. Attempts are being made in Australia to protect this species, especially in trying to build protective fences, which help to keep predators out. Since this is the primary threat, numbers are very slowly beginning to increase, so with the help of Australians, we might just see these guys in the future. Number 5. The Hooded Greb in Argentina, if you are very lucky as a bird watcher, you might just spot the incredibly rare hooded grep. These birds are black and white in color and grow to over a foot in length. They live on isolated lakes in the most remote parts of Patagonia, a region of southern Argentina. In winter, they fly to the coast, but every year, fewer and fewer make the journey. And since 2012, they have been considered as critically endangered. They are extremely vulnerable to predation by the American mink, which is an invasive species. First introduced in 2011, within one year, the mink had almost completely destroyed the population of hooded grebs. This breed of mink is the kind of predator which carries out surplus killing, meaning it will kill what it needs for food and then just keep going for the fun of it, killing more than it could ever eat. Other species also prey upon the greb, and recent volcanic activity has not helped matters, with heavy ashfall causing further losses for the greb. Climate change has also radically altered the lakes where these ducks live, and pressure is rising on the Argentine government to act and save the grebs before it's too late. Number 4. Black Spotted Couscous this marsupial is the second largest of the couscous family and is known as the black spotted couscous. It lives on the northern parts of the island of New Guinea, and they have a pretty amazing set of colors with white, black, and brown patterns. They grow to two feet long and are fantastic at moving between the branches of trees, being a primarily arboreal or tree-dwelling species. We don't really know a lot about the lives of the black spotted couscous since they are so rare it is hard to study them. But it is believed that this species is omnivorous. Back in the 1980s, they were considered rare, but this status has become progressively worse as they were classified as critically endangered in 2010. The main cause is human disruption. Mass immigration into New Guinea by Javanese people has led to rapid deforestation and land development as the previously balanced society is taken apart and new industrial projects are launched. Plans have been developed for increased logging and palm oil production which, when they go ahead, will likely lead to the extinction of this species. But your shampoo will cost 4 cents less at Walmart, so hey, another treat is hunting, and the couscous is hunted for meat as well as for its fur, which is considered fashionable for capes and hats. Papua New Guinea certainly has no conservation programs, although some parts of Indonesia are accepting the couscous for conservation. Number 3. Hymen Gibbon 
The Heinen gibbon is the world's rarest primate, with fewer than 30 individuals remaining. All 28 known Heinen gibbons live in a tiny part of China, on the island of Heinen. They are gravely threatened with extinction, and yet, once upon a time, they were widespread throughout all of China. Back in the 17th century, records show that these gibbons were abundant. By the 1950s, numbers had fallen to 2,000 known individuals, and now in 2020, we have less than 30. Habitat destruction, as usual, is a major problem for these gibbons, and illegal paper pulp plantation growing has destroyed at least one quarter of their habitat in recent times, but possibly more. Logging is another major source of pressure on these animals. Of the 28 still clinging on, there are two families, one with 11 members and the other with seven, while four of these gibbons are living alone. It is said one single storm or epidemic of disease will finish off this species completely. Things don't look good for the gibbons, as 95% of the natural environment on the island of Hainan has already been destroyed, and plans are in place to remove the final 5%. Number 2. Red Wolves there's white wolves, there's gray wolves, there's the Minnesota timber wolves, but have you ever heard of red wolves? Are they not just really big foxes? Well, it's not too surprising if you've never heard of them, since they are one of the rarest mammals on the planet. They have lived for tens of thousands of years in the southeastern United States. These red-coated animals are considered to be kind of halfway between the gray wolf and the smaller coyote. They are of particular importance importance to the Cherokee, and they are known as Waya. The Cherokee held these wolves in great reverence, believing them to be an important spiritual animal, and so they avoided killing them. Also likely aware of their importance in a balanced ecosystem, but by the 1930s, the wolf was under serious threat due to culls, immense changes to the natural landscape, and increased proximity to coyotes, which led to the red wolves being hybridized out of existence. By the late 1980s, action had begun to try and save the red wolf, but counts showed that there were maybe as few as 17 left. More were released into protected lands, and by 2007, they had reached as many as 113 in the wild. But by 2016, that number had been cut in half as people began killing them with guns, and their decline continues with the species likely to go extinct due to hunting with guns anytime soon. Number 1. Greater Bamboo Lemur The Greater Bamboo Lemur is a critically endangered primate from the island of Madagascar. This lemur is the biggest bamboo lemur, and they can weigh up to 5 pounds. A little like pandas, they only eat bamboo, and they even eat the parts of the bamboo which contain cyanide. which would be enough to kill most creatures, some special mechanism in their digestive system, which we do not yet understand, allows them to metabolize this deadly poison with no ill effects. In spite of this superpower immunity to poison, these lemurs have a hard time staying alive. Part of the reason is their diet. With nothing else on the menu, they are starving to death due to humans illegally cutting down all the bamboo on the island. About 500 individuals remain, but this number is decreasing. Slingshot hunting, slash and burn farming, mining, logging, and other destructive human behaviors have destroyed the home of this creature. And being a fairly primitive species, they are not well able to adapt to radically new environments. Don't expect one to start happily living in your trash can or crawl space. These guys need bamboo forests or nothing. Well, another incredibly rare species, and I hope you all have seen how great it would be if we could do something to save some of these amazing creatures and save them from extinction. What would you do to save these animals from extinction? Which animal on our list would you be saddest to lose from the planet? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!